going to say. I thought it was like some kind of like. It's not an external. It's not like an external smear test. Oh no, you don't want an external one. No. Internal one's bad enough. Why are we talking about smear tests? I because I brought up the subject to my minge scrapers. Oh, why did you bring up your minge? Because are we talking about that? I don't know. Why not? Let's bring a bit of evening to lunchtime, she seen, says. Have you seen, um, have you seen, uh, um, oh, did, oh, you recorded this. Cock. Have you seen Richard Herring's cock yet? No, but I haven't seen his show either. Oh, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it into the ball <laughs> park. Why are you saying sexy things again? Oh, because you turned me on, Jessica. Oh, my God. Right, let's not turn this into that. I mean, women can also be unsexual, sexual beings. Okay. <laughs> Should we start the interview now? Yeah. Hi, this is Eleanor Comey, guest presenter for Waffle TV. She's good, she's very good. I love you. I uh, sat here with a beautiful Jessica Pudsy. Pudsy! <laughs> no, I'm not doing fucking children in need. <laughs> what a can you do fucking on this? I don't mean can you do fucking, I just mean can you say fucking on Waffle TV? Wicked. Yeah. I'm not fucking Pudsy. Is it her show? Well, she's meant to be advertising my show. I know, I know. Flyers? I don't know where your flyers are. Can up. I get flyers or can I not get out of, uh, out of shot yet? Yes. Yeah, let's go. get her flyers. Go, go, go. She's go, good go, at this. Go, go. is like Annika Rice, but a really sexy version. You know it. I mean, could you get more sexy than I know. Rice? It's all good. It's all good. Oh, my God. Look at her. She's I've reaching into bag. the bag. She's reaching into the bag. bag. It's ethical. It is ethical. It is. No, Pidsley. Oh. Shit. I got that wrong, didn't I? Oh, my God. I got a second name wrong. How bad am I? I'm so It doesn't matter. You're not unprofessional. Is this the basis of your show? Certainly not. This is the most unstructured, I structured anything. interview I don't I've ever done. Do anything in my show. It's purely a lunchtime show, a full of goodness. My show is about saying I'm not perfect and it's okay. You might not have felt like that, Eleanor, because you look pretty amazing. Thanks. Have you ever felt that? I felt I constantly feel imperfect, but I strive to be perfect. But I'm constantly imperfect. Well, do you know what? That perfection that you're striving for might be an unattainable goal that you'll never achieve. But being happy is a complex web of subtly interacting factors intricately designed to create or in sense, in, inform your sense of well-being. Can anyone really truly be happy, though? Certainly not. Oh, my God. No way. We're all destined for shitness. Yes, total shitness. But I can make you think about it. That's, that's skillful. That was a very... That was, it wasn't that skillful. I've had a, I've had a pint of Pear Magnus. Hey! It's been more skillful. Pag, Pear Pagnus, that's what I'm calling it. Pagnus is the drink of the fringe. It is, isn't it? And it's on tap. It's brilliant. There's a pub in East London and I'm, and that does on tap you prosecco. Just me. I did tell you. There's a pub in East London that does on tap prosecco. I've is never it? felt so alive when I found what this out. You mean on tap, as in just yeah, like literally like on draft? I just wanted to fucking situate oh my, my mouth God. underneath it. That's insane. Pear Magnus, though, definitely the drink of the fringe. Have you had some Pear Magnus? Yeah, not not yet. yet. Cameraman says no. Get in on it. Get on on it. But yeah, but basically. Let's plug this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you're at the um, you're at the Daisy. You're near me. I'm near the Wee Coop. Um, Lovely. Oh, my mum ended up. My basically, my mum came to see my show. She's very proud of me. Um, she was a latecomer to my show because she ended up in the Wee Coop watching God in a Bag. Oh. I know. I was like, why are you late? For fuck's sake. She was like, well, I just had to say to them, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong show. <laughs> there was only there was only like six of them in there. So like, she just dramatically <laughs> decreased the uh, the audience numbers. But I just thought, go go for it, mum. I'm, I'm debating whether to get my mum, let my mum come to my show because I'm doing a midnight chat show, Midnight Rumble, uh, week okay, coup, five to midnight. It's really good. Well, you can come on as a guest, it'll be fun. Oh, watch out. Making, uh, making things happen. Yeah, exactly. Networking live on air. Well, sort of on the internet. Sort of, it's not live. Is this going on the internet? It is going on the internet. Will people watch it? Yeah, probably. Oh, it? Of course they bloody are. Um, but, but I'm debating whether to let my mum come and see it. Was she alright? You know, yeah, I'm, no, I'm come and see it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I mean, well, she, she paid gave, for it. So yeah, exactly. She she gave you life, mate. <laughs> no, she gave you five grand. Did she give you five grand? Yeah, yeah. I should let her see it, shouldn't well, I? Let let your mum come and see my show. Okay. She can give me money. <laughs> Will she give me money? She no. Yeah, she oh. give you ten. No, no, because well, I'll, I'll get her in on press. But anyway, whatever. You get her in on press. <laughs> yeah. She on a comp. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna write you a review. Yeah. Fringe biscuit. <laughs> She's great. She's been like that ever since she was little. <laughs> Fucking funny. And she'll insert like pictures, really embarrassing pictures of me. Well, I show embarrassing pictures in my show, actually. Do you? Yeah, pictures of me from year one at primary school all the way through. Because um, you might not believe this, Eleanor, but when I was 16, I, I weighed 16 and a half stone. Really? I lost four and a half stone. Yeah. Give her a round of applause. Yes. Yeah, people in the Brooks Bar, nobody's clapping. You know. Um, so how did you lose it? Did it vomiting? No, no vomiting allowed. Good. So just eat the food. It's wholesome. You don't want to vomit it back up. What are you suggesting? That bulimia is a good thing. No. You said that. I didn't. You did a bit. I was just joking. Oh, it's a joke. Bulimia is a joke to you, is it? Yeah. <laughs> don't make me feel guilty. Oh well, guilt. You feel guilty about that, do you? Yeah, I do. Well, I feel. 
I feel guilty about making a joke about it. Yeah, well, maybe you should. All right. See, I'm making you think, aren't I? Yeah, you are making me think. So maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe that's what my show's called. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe you should go and see it. Yeah, do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. I've got a question from the previous guest. Go on. Yeah, do you want to answer it? Yeah. Cool, let's look whimsically into the camera. Okay, so what question would you like to ask the next guest, the magical mystery guest? I'd love the next magical mystery guest to tell me what is their favourite historical era or civilization and why. Mmm. <laughs> Slow fade. 1920s. <laughs> Is that allowed? Why? Because Art Deco is my favourite um, era, actually. Well, like I know Art Deco is not an era, but the 20s. I love the 20s, and that's sort of why I've gone for this sort of retro <laughs> funky bob. I just I find the 20s very inspiring, or like the Great Gatsby and all of the literature from the 1920s as well. Did an English degree. Skills. It's all I know. I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to go back to you know the medieval times where you could live in a castle and then yeah. I thought about it really because I, I like the big dresses and the kind of point crony hats sure. with the bits of, and then I realised big sleeves yeah big sleeves and I just thought well actually no because everyone would have smelled and it would have been quite cold I was just about to say you smell really nice I don't I smell like leather, pleather like this yeah, you don't smell like pleather that's the thing what, what perfume is it it's the Mademoiselle one is it yeah I'm wearing Vivian Westwood mmm beautiful we've been asking people to uh, pose questions to the next guest but you are our last guest or my last guest my last guest of today a question no but man. you can pose a question, question to the yeah, wasn't 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 what I was going to say wasn't what I was going to say I was going to say can you pose a question to all Waffle TV's Twitter followers yeah so Twitter followers what I would like to know um, about you is what makes you feel vulnerable so if you want to tweet Waffle Tweet TV, tweet Waffle TV, or a lot. If you want to tweet Waffle TV with your answer, what's the Twitter handle, cameraman? At Waffle under slash TV. At Waffle under slash TV. Oh, no, no, no. oh come waffle on. TV. What is at it? Waffle TV. We'll put at, a link up. At Waffle TV. Yes, do it there. Then you can win two tickets to Jessica's show. Oh, press on press. Comps. Yeah, on comps. Brilliant. Well, that works, isn't it? Actually, do you know what? I want to give you tickets to my show. I'd be delighted to give you tickets to my show. Because best answer, best answer. We'll win a couple of tickets to Jessica's show. Yeah. All right? Yeah, of course it's bloody all right. Yeah, good. I'm pimping her out. Whoop! Who needs to make a living out of this anyway? It's only Edinburgh, isn't it? Exactly. You're only losing 10 million grand anyway. Cool. Do you want to do a quick plug? Give us the title and the uh, venue and the time. <laughs> One forty Every day. Daisy. Underbelly. Uh, I can make you think. Sir. Uh, Five stars from what's on stage, so it's not just me that thinks I'm good. If you've ever thought I'm not perfect, come and see my show. It's about saying I'm not perfect, Eleanor. And that's okay. Poignant. If you want, you can see my uh, late night chat show, Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble. You want to see that? You will come on it. Um, Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble, uh, five to midnight of the week on Bristow Square. It's really good. We've had some really good guests on. Do you wear boxing gloves? I do wear boxing gloves, yes. and it's in a boxing ring. But for now, go and find Waffle TV online. And they're really nice. They're lovely people, and they let me have the microphone all day. Uh, thanks very much. My name's been Eleanor Conway. This has been Jessica Pugsley. Pidsley. You call me Pugsley. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Whatevs.